for today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! <laughs> hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! I don't know how you're gonna decide. I mean, check it out. They get cooler pets in this place every week. Why don't you get an anthem pant, Kurt? Uh, they're funny. Or, for one of Evolution's truly hilarious bloopers, I recommend the Porcupincer. How about a Mookie Fish? Uh, no thanks. I think I'm gonna go look for something cute and cuddly. Why, with so many amazing creatures in here, I don't know how Kurt's going to make a choice. Yo, yo, speaking of choice, check out that amazing creature over there. Oh, he is so totally cute. He reminds me of my first puppy. Brittany. Brittany. <laughs> huh? Ew, what are you doing, Nuggy Door? Uh, nothing. Honest. Huh? Ew, what are you doing, Nebby Door? Uh, nothing. Honest. I was just, uh... Looking at that puppy you're holding. Y yeah, is that a purebred triwagger? Are you, like, a purebred geek? <laughs> Maybe we should go see if Kurt needs some help. Nope, not me, I don't. Because not only did I find the perfect pet, but I found two of them. <laughs> Listen, they're saying hello. Kurt, those are Zucranian fighting hamstigators. They're not saying hello, they're trying to destroy each other. Yeah, man, you can't get two of those things. They'll rip each other to shreds. But they're so cute and cuddly. Sorry, Kurt, you better pick out something else. <laughs> I don't want to pick out something else. I want hamstigators. I want them, I want them, I want them. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. If you must have your hamstigators, uh, perhaps there's a way I can help you. Ah, here we go. What is that thing? A little gadget I was developing quite some time ago. My plan was to design an anti-violence beam that would promote intergalactic peace. I put it aside when I became sidetracked by an amusing phosphate experiment. You mean, if you use that thing to beam the hamstigators, they actually might stop fighting? I've never actually tested it, but theoretically, yes. Come, observe. I've placed these hamstigators in the same cage, separated by a partition. Observe their aggressive behavior. They're fighting like hamstigators. Indeed. Now I'll simply zap hamstigator number one with the anti-violence beam. And now I'll zap the other one. Impressive. But now for the real test. We remove the partition and... No, no, stop them! They're fighting! They're gonna kill each other! Um, I don't believe they're fighting, Kurt. Whoa, now they're really not fighting. What are they doing? Uh, Douglas, that beam of yours, I don't think it's an anti-violence beam. I think it's a, a... A love beam! A love beam, you say? Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine I would invent such a thing! One wonders what I could do with this! You could make the universe a better place! You could win the Nuzzlegon Peace Prize! Aw, uh, you guys are thinking too small! With this beam, you could pull the greatest gag of all time! Gag? What do you mean? You know, the old bring the beam to school, zap kids, and watch them act like love struck idiots gag! Hey, there's an idea! Boys, boys, really, I'm not sure that would be scientifically ethical! Maybe not, but it would be funny! And maybe kind of nice! Come on, Dr. McLove! In. Well, it would be helpful to test my device on a school-sized population. <laughs> and I could use a good hoot. Now you're talking. Guys, tomorrow is going to be a day we'll never forget. Love Day at Luna Vista. Okay, Dougie, so you got it ready? Right here, Eddie. And last night, I input the entire student directory into the Beam's central processor. This will allow us to choose our victims with precision. Nice touch, Douglas. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough with the yapping. Let's get zapping. All right. I suppose first we need a subject. Ah, how about Lonely Violet? That sister could definitely use some love in her life. Know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. But who would be a suitable match? Out of my way, geeks. Guy's gotta walk, don't he? Rodney? Rodney. Rodney it is! Where have you been all my life? Hey, what the... Get off me, girly! Wicked! This is better than a movie! If only he would love her in return! No sooner said than done! Oh, my precious! Let us away to our stinking classroom! <sighs> Success! <laughs> 
We created a love miracle! And we're gonna create some more. Let's see. Aha! Grace. Meet Benny. Mendel. This is Genevieve. Hello, you beautiful slug like creature. <laughs> Climb down. <laughs> wait, wait. And now, Genevieve? This is Lou. Hey, big boy. Can I claim your windshield? Huh? Hey, you stay away from my girl or else. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> oh. Lloyd, you've created a love triangle. Man, that has messed us up. But not as much as this. It's the princess herself. I'd say it's time she had a prince. Whoa, whoa, hey, not Brittany, okay? Yeah, Brittany, with some lame nerd like Squeaky Jim. <laughs> Let's see, that's S for Squeaky. Come on, Eddie, leave her alone. What do you mean? It'll be funny. Just don't do it. Why not? Because I don't want you to. Hey, knock it off. No. I'm telling you, Lloyd, give me that beam. <laughs> Still, I think it's Zapter. But wait, it appears to have selected another name. Who's? Oh, Lloyd! Like, come to me, my darling. Sweet mother of Moveton! Brittany's fallen in love with me! Brittany, hello! Like, are you okay? I'm fine, Megan. And oh, Lloyd is oh so fine. Lloyd? Like, Nebulon? I don't believe this. Brittany's in love with me, and she's coming this way. What do I do? Everything will be okay, man. Just be cool. Be cool? How can I be cool? Brittany's cool. I'm not cool. Remember? Hi, Lloyd. Yeah, Brittany. Very cool. Why, ladies, what a pleasant and complete surprise. Yeah, uh, what's happening? You're happening in my heart 24-7, Lloyd. Or should I say, lloyd delicious? lloyd delicious, huh? Sounds yummy. Wrong, disgusting. Brittany, if this is like some kind of joke, it's true. Great, not funny. I mean, newsflash, this is Nebu Dork you're talking to and uh, touching! Uh, well, gee, Megan, you could just be happy for Brittany. I mean, after all, she is... Sorry, no comprende, Dorkinese. Brittany, I so totally don't get what's going on here. Someday you might, Megan, if you're lucky enough to land a man like Lloyd. Like, there's the bell. How'd you like to walk me to class, you dreamy hunk you? Uh, sure. See you, Megan. Bye. So long. Later. This is just so wrong. The year X-48 was a time of great unrest in the Splenkitican Republic. General Guaximan had invaded Borkandy, and the Stubonic Plague was spreading like flugel butter. Queen you who? Hot boy! I love you! Huh? Hey! I warned you, Hatchback! Stay away from my girl! What is happening to me? Galaxy 11 flippies grew their tentacles down to their waists. And what do we have here, Nebulon? Uh, nothing, Mrs. Bolt! Dear Lloyd Delicious. I think you're totally the cutest boy in the whole school. So will you be my like boyfriend? Love, Brittany. Well, well, well. A love letter. Apart from Ms. Boviek's appalling grammar, what do we think of this? I think it's sweet. It sets my heart flying like a big hanging dove. You Lloyd, hooking up with Brittany? I guess you're not the lame nerd I thought you were. <laughs> Douglas, promise me you'll never fix that beam. <laughs> Well, fellows, I'd say our little experiment is coming along quite nicely. Yeah, I mean, that was scary for a minute in class back there, but you came out of it looking pretty good. Well, you know what they say about relationships. Things can start out a little bumpy, but I feel like Brittany and me are really settling into a groove. Hi, sweetiekins. Ready to grab a table? Sure. Uh, honey? Like, not so fast. Okay, now I know there is no way you're sitting at the lame table with the lamos when you can be sitting at the popular table with Tori, Candy, Chet, Blake, and me. Come, Brittany. I brought some imported brie from Earth. Oh, Megan, like, what a relief. Of course I want to sit at the popular table. Way awesome. Come on, Lady Cakes. I can't wait to show you off. Hey, I mean, like, without Nebu Dork? Uh, actually, Brittany, I'd sort of rather you didn't... Don't be silly, my bald little pet. Everybody, I'd like you to meet my new boyfriend. And yes, girls, you better back off, because he is all, all mine. Okay, like, I don't get it. Oh, my Zule, I am so embarrassed. She was totally not supposed to infect our table with the dork virus. Listen, stripy-shirted fellow. If you know what's good for you, you'll get out of here now before I'm forced to act upon your impudence. Back off, Blick. That's my man you're talking to. <gasps> Brittany, you can't talk to Blick like that. You're totally trashing your reputation. I don't care about my reputation. <gasps> That's right, all I care about is Lloyd. And if you stuck-up snobs can't deal with that, then I am through dealing with you. Come on, Lloyd, let's go sit with your friends. Yay! Way to go, man! Hey, Lloyd and Brittany! Wow, 
not only have I got the most beautiful girl in school right here by my side, I got to see the snobby kids get told off too. You know, Brittany, this might be the best thing that ever happened to me. Crater Squash, darling. Don't mind if I do. So, I was thinking that Friday we could throw a party to celebrate, you know, us. And we could have a Bjorkenberry cake with a picture bus and icing. And then we could all sit around and talk about us. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, say, here we are at Douglas's house. Yeah, like, and? And, well, see, me and the guys have plans to play some big rig junkyard derby. Just me and the guys, you know? Nothing personal. It's a boy thing. My old bonding time, as it were. Oh, you want to play your little video games. I get it. Great. Then I'll see you later. See you later. Well, that was easy. Yeah, you know, girls are great, but a guy needs his guide time, too. You have said it. Okay, it's later. Did you miss me, Lloydikins? Huh? Brittany, it's only been like five seconds. It seemed like an eternity. Go ahead and play your game. I'll just sit here and watch. Um, very well. Lloyd, why don't you go first? Totally. <sighs> All right. Lloyd can beat him. Yes, he can. If Lloyd can't beat him, no one can. Lloyd, go! Oh, oh! Brittany! Brittany, look, I don't mean this in a bad way, but it's kind of hard for me to play my game with you here. I'm sorry, my Moidchen. I just wanted to make you happy. That's nice, but do you think you can make me happy some other way? Like, maybe somewhere else? Hmm, I know what I can do, and it's going to be so great! Well, I guess that takes care of that. A little firm talking is all it takes. Yeah! Honey, you're home! But so are you! My home! I know, cutie puss. Isn't it a wonderful surprise? Uh, now come over here and eat your dinner before it gets cold. You were so sweet to let me use your kitchen, Nora. Nora? Yes. Uh, Brittany and I have really gotten to know each other over the last hour. In fact, she's spoken practically nonstop about you. Her hunky lump, is it? Lumpy lump of hunky hunk. Yes. And here I didn't even know you had a girlfriend, Lloyd. Oh, Nora, we're much more than that. Yeah, Mom, get this! Brittany says they're going to get married. Lloyd, married to a real-life girl? <laughs> dum, 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 dum. Lloyd's really dumb. He chews dirty gum and he sucks on his thumb. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> hey, wonder what's so funny? You are my little Pope Gord. Huh? Ooh la, Lloyd, the weekly scoop on Luna Vista's hottest heartthrob? Holy mutton! I'm all over this thing! What a plethora of Lloyd-related topics! What Lloyd ate for lunch yesterday? Lloyd's favorite shirt? Why, there's even a Lloyd crossword puzzle! Hmm, an eight-letter word describing Lloyd's lips! That's for me to know and you to find out! Isn't it great, Cupcake? Hang on, because there's, like, more to come! What's that supposed to mean? I got it! Lloyd's lips are kissable! Quack, quack, quack! Hey, you can't laugh at me! Yesterday I was cool! Oh man, can this get any worse? Attention everyone! Like, like shut up? Hi, it's, it's me, Brittany, Brittany, and I have a very important announcement about my ever-loving Lloyd. Oh, Clyde Rocks! Check out Nebula! He's flashing! <laughs> <laughs> All right, with this being Lloyd Day, the avoidance of Lloyd's over, I've arranged a special surprise for Lloyd! Please direct your attention to the nearest window to partake in this moving Lloyd experience. What the? Surprise, Lloyd! Our love is like sky high. You're awesome! Woo! And this is for you. Boy, I'm so, like, mesmerized. I'm so surprised I'm hypnotized. Cause when you looked deep in my eyes, you suddenly made me realize that I totally, 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 totally love you. I totally, 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 totally love you. wrong. This is the worst thing that can happen to you. You've created a love monster! Douglas, please! You have got to fix that beam! Make Brittany hate me again! Or I'll be miserable for the rest of my life! Well, Dougie, do you think it'll work? I've swapped some key circuits and repaired the main Throbutron. If all goes as planned, one dose from this beam should reverse the effects of the previous beam. Cross your fingers. <laughs> 
Oh, man, it didn't work. I'm sorry, Lloyd. I felt almost certain that it would. What am I going to do now? Stay away from her, man. Just stay away from her. Hey, everybody. Look who's on the phone. It's Brittany. Lloyd, I've been calling all over for you. I so totally miss you. And I have the most awesome surprise. Oh, that's nice. What do I tell her? Sorry, man. Beats me. Tell her you're a pirate. That she'll be scared of you. I can't tell her that. <sighs> Brittany, meet me at the park. I think we need to talk. I will be so there. Bye. You're meeting her at the park? Whatever for? I don't know what else to do, guys. I think it's time I told her the truth. Hi, Lloyd. Ah! Surprised? Now we really are the perfect match. Uh, well, actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Speak to me, my love. Well, you see, Brittany, it's like this. These feelings you have for me, they're not real. Douglas sort of made this love being gadget, and we beamed you by accident. You don't actually love me at all. You just think you do because of the beam. A love beam? Oh, Muffin, you are so pulling my leg. No, I swear, it's true. I mean, come on, Brittany, think about it. If there weren't some kind of beam, there'd be no way you'd fall in love with a guy like me. Silly Lloyd, of course I would. No, you wouldn't. So knock it off, okay? I can't knock it off. I love you. No, you don't. Yes, I do, and I can prove it to you. Come, there's something I want to show you. Remember this from when we were five? Sure, you caught me carving it. Yeah, but you don't know the whole story. See, after you ran off crying... <laughs> Lloyd loves Brittany? Hmm... You carved something too? Yes, Lloyd. <gasps> Brittany loves Lloyd, too? It's true, Lloyd. Of course, back then, boys were supposed to be yicky, so I couldn't tell anyone. And then I became cool, so I couldn't be seen with you. But secretly, I've always loved you. You really have, haven't you? And now, because of the beam, you can admit it. Lloyd! Lloyd! Wonderful news, Lloyd! All the device needed was a minor adjustment. It works now! You're saved! Stand back, buddy. We're letting her rip. Well, hey, uh, let's not be too hasty. What are you talking about? Suddenly, things are a lot more complicated. Believe it or not, Brittany really does love me. Come again? I know, it sounds crazy. That's because it is crazy. Quick, Dougie, zap her. She's got him brainwashed. Move aside, Lloyd. Don't do it. It's for your own good. No! Don't worry about the guys. They'll come around when they realize how right this is. Then it'll be you and me together forever. Yeah, but you know, Brittany, seeing how this is forever, I think maybe we need a few rules. Like what, Space King? Well, for starters, you could stop using all those pet names. They're kind of embarrassing. Just call me Lloyd or Honey or Cool Guy. Okay. Second, no more big deals, okay? No newsletter, no songs, and no fireworks. Okay, cool guy, okay. And third, this might be the hardest for you, but when I just want to be alone or with the guys, you gotta let me, okay? Go do girl stuff on your own. Of course, Lloyd, anything you want. Great, that was easy. Well, duh, honey. Don't you know by now? I'll do whatever it takes to make you happy. And you'll be happy? Sure I will, if you're happy. I mean, maybe I really was hit by this love beam or whatever. But I say hoo Because suddenly all those other things that used to seem so important to me, school, my friends, hunky teenage heartthrobs, fashion, none of that matters anymore. The only thing that matters is you. Well... I'm sure you don't mean I'm the only thing that matters. Yes way, Lloyd. Totally. You could, for example, still hang around with Megan every now and then. I don't need Megan. I have you. You've got to still care about something else. Shopping, gossiping, insulting, playing guys. No, Lloyd. I only care about your happiness. But suddenly you don't seem happy. Like, come on, cool guy. Please be happy. You finally got me. Brittany. Aren't I the girl you always wanted? Well, that's just the thing. You used to be, but now... I'm not so sure. I'm glad you came to your senses, man. I was worried. You've made the right decision. I hope so. We'll, uh, give you some privacy. Lloyd, please, do we have to? You said you'd do whatever made me happy, Brittany. But if you liked Zap me, won't things just go back to being the way they were? Probably. But even with you ignoring me or insulting me or laughing at me or getting just plain grossed out by me, at least I'll know it's you, the regular Brittany. 
I don't want to change you. I only want you to change if you want to. Because you want to be with me. Because it'll make you happy. If I really do love you, how could I want anything else? Oh, Lloyd, I promise I'll never call you a dork again. That'd be nice, Brittany. But I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> Brittany? Nebu dork? You are so totally toast! Ew, these lame clothes! What was I thinking? Like, disaffect me now! I have got such major damage control to do on my reputation. Oh, and Geek Boy? Yeah? If you think you have even an ounce of a chance with me at school tomorrow, you can just keep dreaming! Okay, I will! Man, are you alright? Yeah, I'm alright. Kudos, Lloyd. I do believe that was the most noble act you have ever done. You did the right thing, buddy. And face it, Brittany really never has been your kind of girl. Nobody, she never has been. But maybe someday, she will be. <laughs>